Check my throat. <laughs> okay. Now you open big. Okay. It's scary to go to the doctor. You know, you're about to get poked and prodded. But if the person feels a measure of control because this doctor is so ridiculous, then you feel more comfortable. Can you hear my heart? Good job. You know, when I was a pediatric resident, having a patient with a developmental disability was scary for me. Jump back up here one more time. One, two, three, mighty jump. And then I actually had the opportunity to see people in non-medical settings and realized these are people who are running around the bases and who are kicking the soccer ball. And suddenly they, they become people and not clinical specimens anymore. Another take home message from me is when you're in pediatrics, prepare to sit on the floor. Prepare to be physically goofy. So what Steve's been able to do is to make sure that when folks are here training in our medical school, uh, that they get exposure to folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities and that they learn about how to interact, how to do so in a compassionate way, in a culturally sensitive way. We don't use the term mental retardation, we use the term intellectual disability. We use people first language, a person has Down syndrome, it is not a Down syndrome kid. So belly crawling at six months, what's the crawling at nine months going to look like? I'm silly with the medical students because I want them to pay attention. <laughs> you know, Mason, we meet each other on the ground of humor and, and that's what sticks. And then you walk up to it and then, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. When a teacher okay. made me laugh, those are the lectures that stick in my mind. Okay, 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 good. Perfect. Okay. All right. That was great. One of the great things about healthy athletes is that the providers there are comfortable working with people with developmental disabilities and are training the next generation in that setting. All right, high five. Thank you so much. I think it's very important for primary physicians who are serving everyone to be able to incorporate people with developmental disabilities into their practices. So he's in the clinic dealing with the patients. He's working with the medical school faculty and leadership. And then he's at the national stage. He's banging on doors and politicians saying, we need help, we need services. That's why he's effective with children. They believe him because he's honest. And when he talks with families, what he says comes from his knowledge base, but is clearly filtered through his heart. None of us are able to play sports all of our lives, but our health is something that we'll carry with us forever. Nice game. Nice game, coach. Nice game, man.